Hey guys, this is KSP with Tape, and today you join me on the launch pad with one of my crazy inventions. This is a drop tank. Um, basically, well, it's basically a drop pod with a tank inside it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to launch this to space so that I can talk while launching. Um, although flying and f flying and talking aren't my strong suit, you know, in unison. Um, but yeah, uh, this will be in the uh, in the description with the rocket, so you can take it to orbit. Um, very simple rocket, it's kind of just kind of like a space launch system rocket, uh, <clears throat> set up even. Um, and yeah, so it just, you know, just goes to orbit quite easily. Um, as long as you fly it right, unless you fly it like a, like a fool! But uh, if you're flying like a fool, then maybe you should learn to fly before you learn to drop tanks on things. Um, or maybe not, maybe that's, you know, just what you were going for, you are like, you saw the Kerbal Space Program page, you were like, you know what? I bet that game's good for dropping tanks on things, and it is! Anyway, so this comprises mainly of just like metal bits, um, which are, I don't think at all tweaked, um, or maybe very tweaked. I think this may use tweak scale, so um, yeah, this the link for this will be in the description, and you'll need BD Armory, and tweak scale, and Kerbal Foundries. Those are the three mods, those will also be linked to make it a little easier on you. And again, as per usual, if I have not linked them, feel free to be like, Pity, I didn't link them. Oh, I forgot to decouple those boosters. Maybe I won't be able to get to orbit. Um, although it's a fairly capable rocket. I want to say it's like a 50 ton lifter taking, I think this is about 20 tons. Um, yeah, the drop pod's quite good, because um, there isn't a huge amount of fuel, and it doesn't land perfectly. Um, it's not that pretty, so you know. Um, yeah, it doesn't land great, but the thing about the pod is you don't have to land it very well. Um, you can just basically just just land it pretty hard. I mean, as long as you put the engines on a bit, it might destroy the pod if you land hard, but the tank will be fine. And I will explain for why in a little while, um, but I won't explain for why. I'm saying for why. There's actually no reason. I just wanted to emphasize my point. Yeah, I built this on livestream, one of my weird random live streams where I don't really do anything. Um, the, thru the thrust and the mass are pretty well lined up, but not perfectly lined up, so I have included some reaction wheels to make it a little easier, just because, um, well, makes it a little easier. Um, it's self-explanatory. What have we got in orbit? My ion shuttle. This is my um, test save, where I, my oldest save, it's been, it's, it's, it's broken as hell, so I won't include the save, I'll just include the ship. We've got carrier ship, we've got ion plane, ooh, that's interesting, litho breaker. Litho breaker is what started the idea for this. Litho breaker was this thing I did a long time ago where you basically land without any, you land without any propulsion, any wings, any um, parachutes, just nothing that will help you land. Basically, you just put a little bit of um, metal on the bottom of your spacecraft, on the bottom of your spacecraft. I did it on stream and everyone was like, you're God! And I was like, yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, basically you just put some of those uh, physics-less, um, no, cubic struts on the bottom and then basically you need like three of them and then it, you don't need parachutes. <laughs> Not a perfect way to land, but, um, well, actually pretty much the perfect way to land in this game. Uh, yeah, this game has a lot of little, little flaws like that and, um, stuff like, uh, um, uh, what are some other little little weird things? Just being able to make a SSTO out of three parts. It, that's just, um, well, that's just happenstance because the planet's so small. Um, if you don't know, the planet is one-tenth the size of Earth. Um, although I mentioned that so much, I don't know how you would not know that. Unless this is your first video that you're watching, then welcome. Stick around, you'll see many a crazy thing and some just kind of average things. And then you'll be like, ah, but we'll all have a good time. Um... <laughs> Yeah, um, this is the kind of thing I do on live streams quite a lot. I mean, I do a lot of BD Armory on live streams just because, well, it makes good streams. It's like lots of explosives. I rarely build stuff on stream unless it's like something crazy like this. Um, but, you know, it's, uh, you know, I yeah, my streams are always, well, sometimes, I think the last stream I did was just a bit of, I didn't really get much done. I was just messing around, having some fun. So yeah, let's decouple this now. How heavy is this? Yes, that rocket's pretty capable. You see, I kind of screwed up the launch and it was fine. Um, yeah, it's only 28 tons. But yeah, this is a drop pod. Fully functional drop pod. It only has those little landing gear. They're not really... 
that useful. They cushion the blow a bit, but yeah, you can see the tank in here. You'll be able to see it a little better. Um, the reason that it lands so well um, is... Um, well, actually, it'll be easier to see after it's landed. Yeah, and the reason it uses Kerbal Foundries is because Kerbal Foundries is really good for, like, um... Uh, for, like, extra part... For, for, like, wheels. It has, like, tank tracks and stuff in it, um, and bigger... Bigger wheels, that sort of stuff. Uh, this is where I've been landing before. You can see Drop Pod. It's called Drop Pod because it started life as a Drop Pod. I'm going to do another orbit so that this desert's in the, um... Daylight. I like to land on this desert. It's a big land mass, and this is a better land mass. Well, a bigger land mass at least. Bigger isn't always better. <laughs> but um, but yeah, that's in the dark. We don't want to land in the dark because I don't have the mod that gives me more ambient light. But yeah, um, these engines aren't particularly efficient, but they're powerful. They're radial, and they have five degrees of gimbal, which is the most most kind of vectoring range. Any um, engine has in this entire game, most have one or two degrees, or maybe half a degree, or maybe no degrees. Um, but yeah, uh, so that does just make them quite good for landers. Um, but if it's a uh, lander going far into the, uh, far into the, um, what do you call it, far, far into the solar system, you'll need a, you might want something more efficient and maybe just a reaction wheel. Um, anyway, we're all in the dark now. I'm going to land quite aggressively, um, because then I know exactly where I'm landing. I'm not very good at landing in the, um, stock game without any, like, guidance. Um, you know, without any engines or, like, wings. Um, well, I'm good at landing, I'm just not good at, um, well, we'll see. Uh, no, I'm not good at picking out, um, a landing site is what I meant, because I don't really understand the whole drag thing in the real game. In the real game, in the stock game. Whereas in Ferrum Aerospace, I'm much more used to it. Not that I don't understand it, I'm just not really used to it because it's quite soupy and you can't do so many tricks. Um, tricks which I learned from Scott Manley. Yeah, that's probably um, where I've learned most of my KSP skills. Um, although some of them, you know, you just kind of pick up and work out and stuff. Um, passing over that beautiful little crater. Ah, <laughs> Kerbal Space Program is a nice looking game. Um, I wonder when 1.0 is coming out because I hear uh, Scott Manley's going to wait till 1.0 drops for his big, for his big, for his next big series. And it'll probably be in the next year because we were in the, um, <clears throat> we're in the, uh, well, you know, we're in the beta phase. But um, it will be interesting. I don't know. I'm not part of the media group or anything. Um, but you know, well, it would be nice to be part of the media group, be in the know, and not be able to tell you. Um, that would be. Wonderful, because I'm evil. Anyway, looks like we're coming to land. Um, I'll do some quick saves, so if I screw up the first landing, I won't have to go all the way back and launch again. That'll double the length of the video, and you'll all be sick of me. Oh, no! Well, that went to shit. This is going to be a terrible landing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, fighter under control. Fight for control. Thank God I just quick saved, right? I was like, I'll quick save in case anything goes wrong. Then it just flips. Engine first. Yeah, why did I take SAS off? Because I'm used to the standard drag model, and this probably aerodynamically would maybe go belly first. No, it would go the. It would probably do this in um the re in a real well, not a real kind of like a fair aerospace drag model, because well, this is the side of least resistance. Um, alrighty, Roo. Oh no, we're pointed the wrong way. Pointed progress. We need to be pointed retrograde. Flip it around. Luckily, there's, um, well, again, in Ferrum Aerospace, this would have been torn apart by now. I mean, it wouldn't, because it's such a hardy landing craft. Um, it is a pretty hardy landing craft, I'm not going to lie. Looks like we might be coming into a hill, though. Deploy landing gear, then. Um, man, I hope I don't you land on a hill. Looks like I might land on a hill, though. Um, damn, I should have included mech jab, although that would be an extra mod I'd have to link, so, uh, so none of that. Um, there isn't a lot of fuel, so the landing, this landing sitch isn't perfect, so, um, if you're not, a, um, you know, fairly good at landing, you might want to add more fuel, because it does run out quite quickly. So you kind of have to, you know, pinpoint it. Where's the sun? Okay, I've got to figure out roughly how high I am. Um, <laughs> how high above the ground, not how high on all the drugs. All that cocaine. All that YouTube cocaine. Um, <laughs> the special YouTube cocaine that only YouTubers get. Okay, it looks like we're coming in. Throttle up. Just 
do a few slowdown maneuvers. God damn, there's a cliff right there. That's going to make it harder to land, isn't it? Um, like I said, this can take a pretty massive impact and the tank will be fine. But, um, you know, I'd like to land relatively well. And then really badly to prove my point. Um, I'm not really trying too hard. Oh, yep. Struck down pretty hard. You're thinking, God damn it, tape. Or Peter, or... Uh, yeah. God damn it, Peter. You, you exploded it. You blew it all to hell. You're a madman. But no, we blast off the doors that are remaining. We drop the tank, and the tank is fine. And the tank is fine. You know, the tank is fine. Um, you're thinking, no, it's missing I'm a, a missile pod. No, that's actually how it's supposed to be. Um, yeah, the tank is fine. And the for why is because this was attached by one decoupler to this. There are a few struts to stop it wobbling around, but yeah, it's mainly because it's attached to this, which means it springs. Um, you do need to apply some engine force, but you can hit the ground pretty hard and it will be fine. And then you get this little tank. Um, we called it Derp Tank in the live stream, although it's not quite so derpy now. There was even a Derp Tank song. I think I've got this, uh, oh no. I think the controls might be a bit inverted. So you might want to fix that, but this is a concept you can use. Um, one, activates, the, uh, changes the weapons, because uh, this does use BD Armory for its weapons. Two, fires the weapons. Oh, nice. Oh, actually looks fine. That's annoying. Uh, troll, nice. Blasted apart. And it has these 30 caliber turrets on the front for wrecking things. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's, it's a pretty good way of, um, well, pretty futuristic way of deploying your weaponry onto the battlefield if you like doing these speedy armory things. Anyway, I will do one more little hitting the ground kind of hard just to show you that it does work quite well. Um, I will need the engines a bit, but I'll try and... Okay. That's... Not exactly what you want, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, there is a bit of glitching with that. It's, I'm pretty sure it's just a visual glitch. Um, just in, like, the, uh, just a visual glitch on those tracks. Um, but, uh, maybe not. It's usually fine once you've decoupled. Okay, now we're pointing the wrong way. Um, I don't know how hard I'm going to try and hit the ground. Just, I'm just going to try and hit the ground pretty hard. Um, yeah, it's not an ugly, it's not a um, good-looking pod. Uh, kind of landing thing, but you know it does the job. It'll deploy small vehicles all over the um, All over the earth or Kerbin or wherever you choose to land um, And it will if you land it well will provide it with some pretty good armor um, Just drop it and if you land poorly It'll be fine um, If you can flip it around that is oh see the tanks fine it might not be after this. Oh eh. Funny old world. Anyway, yeah, after all that, tank's fine. Because I made this like a freaking... Yeah, basically it'll just land... The, it doesn't really matter what happens to the pod, the tank will be fine. All the ammo's fine, everything's fine. It's built just like a fucking brick house. Um, but yeah, feel free to download this and mess around with this. And, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, if you, uh... Um, well... I don't know what other things you could do. Well, I guess if you're a YouTuber, you can make videos and stuff. Being like, look at the drop in the tank. No, this is my tank. No, I don't mind. I don't really care. Anyway, um, yeah, so, oh, we're going backwards. And you can just, like, frag stuff. Well, not frag stuff. You can explode stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, this is my invincible drop pod, although the pod's not particularly invincible, but the tank is pretty well protected, and is pretty hardy. I mean, look at this thing. It'll just... Nothing. It didn't explode. Shut up. Okay, it exploded a bit. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm rambling now. I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,